Hello everyone, so unless you've been living under a particularly large rock the past couple of weeks, you'll have learnt by now the joyous news that the United States Supreme Court decided to legalise same-sex marriage nationwide! That means that every state in the United States of America now has same-sex marriage! Results! Of course, that's not the end of the road for equality and for gay rights. There's so much more left to be done, as well as fighting for the rights of trans people and other sexual and gender minorities. But it's certainly progress and certainly cause for celebration. But of course we can't celebrate for too long because there's always more homophobes around the corner being homophobic. Who's it this time Jacob, I hear you say? Well today's offender is catholicvote.org who, as you can probably tell from their name, is a conservative catholic political advocacy group whose stated goal is to represent pro-life and pro-family interests. Which basically means anti-woman and anti-gay interests. Now a few days ago they released a video entitled Not Alone and it has already, to use a social buzzword of the times, gone viral. It has over a million views. Now before I actually start the video I want to quickly point out that although there are people in this video expressing genuine views, this has all been mediated and put together by Catholic vote. So bear that in mind. I will be responding directly to what is being said by the people in the video, but try to bear in mind that this video was put together by a political advocacy group who are committed to trying to stop gay and trans people from having the same rights as heterosexuals and cisgender people. They are trying to whip up sympathy for themselves. I ask you to try and look past that and see it for what it really is. Bigotry. Okay, I think I'm done. Bring it on. <laughs> I am a little bit nervous about people um, kind of hearing that I am this way and then thinking, um, uh, well, sh you know, she's not welcome here. Um, sorry. You don't get to tell people that they shouldn't have the same rights as you, that they shouldn't be able to marry, and that they'll burn in hell forever because they're gay, and then turn around and expect everything to be hunky-dory. So you can cut that shit out. <laughs> I would say I am different. <laughs> We're all different. <laughs> Twat. Most people probably think I'm already weird anyway, so I mean, I don't think society's impression of me is gonna change drastically based on one or two discoveries that come to light after this video or... Oh, Dave, he's so weird. Do you know that he eats the pizza crust first and he's like super into live action role playing? He's kind of weird, if you know what I mean. Oh, also he hates gay people. What a kook. Pretty scary, you know? Yeah. You wonder, how many people can I really, truly, honestly be open with? That's your version of scary? That's what scary is to you? If that's not privilege, I don't know what is. Apparently your idea of scary is the prospect of people thinking you're an asshole for being anti-gay. The version of scary that gay people have to deal with is the fear that someone might murder them for something they can't change and have no control over. The fear that someone might throw acid in their face or yell obscenities at them in the street for holding their partner's hand. If your idea of scary is that someone might think you're a douchebag, for being a douchebag? You've got it pretty good, dick. I've tried to change this before, but it's too important to me. All right, if it's important to you, fine. Good for you. Be an asshole. It's important to you. Don't get gay married. Of course, that's not what catholicvote.org is trying to do. It's a political advocacy group. It's actively trying to oppress gay people. I've tried to change this part of me and it's just too important to me, so. I'll just have to try and change everyone else. I actually think marriage is between a man and a woman. I believe that marriage is between a man and a woman. Wankers. At the end of the day, I think we don't need to truly be ashamed of how we really feel about things, so just be you. Don't be ashamed of how you are, just, just be you. Unless you're gay, then change. That shit's gross. Here, take a leaflet for one of those bullshit ex-gay organizations. For which evidence doesn't fucking exist. But still, just be you. No one should be looked down upon. No one should be suppressed or no one's views should be suppressed. No one should be looked down upon. 
Hmm. In response to that, let's have a look at the Catholic Church's Catechism on Homosexuality, which states the following. Homosexual acts are acts of grave depravity and are intrinsically disordered. They are contrary to the natural law. They do not proceed from a genuine, effective, and sexual complementarity. Under no circumstances can they be approved. Now, I don't really care what kind of bullshit, Pope Francis-esque semantic gymnastics you want to apply to that. When a normal, rational, sane person reads that, they're not going to come away thinking, hmm, I guess homosexuality is kind of just like a like a pet peeve for the Catholic Church. If that's not looking down on someone, I don't know what is. I know a lot of people who are gay. I have friends who are gay. Do you? Do you really? I've never ever seen a homophobe say, I have gay friends. Here's one now. These hypothetical gay friends that all these bigots have, they don't really actually exist, do they? How could you possibly be friends with someone who thinks that you are intrinsically disordered, that your sex life constitutes grave depravity and is contrary to the natural law, that their relationships do not proceed from a genuine, effective, or sexual complementarity, and that under no circumstances can they be approved. Now, some of those statements speak for themselves. I just want to focus on one. Homosexual acts do not proceed from a genuine, effective complementarity. For those of you who don't know, effective, effective with an A at the start, relates to someone's feelings and emotions. So what they're actually saying there with the term effective complementarity is that they don't believe it's even possible for two men or two women to share genuine affection and love for each other. They're not just saying shit about people's sex lives. They are questioning the very love that gay couples feel for each other, saying that it's just flat out not genuine. That is so fucking cruel. How can someone possibly be friends with someone who thinks that about you? Where are these fucking friends? What I do feel insecure about is speaking from the heart and being really open and honest about what I believe. You should be! The catechism on homosexuality is insane! Jesus, f oh my God. I mean, I love my friends. Several of them happen to be gay. What friends? <laughs> Who would be friends with you? Unless you just haven't told them that you think this about them. How could someone possibly be friends with you when you believe this kind of shit? It's like someone saying, you know, I have tons of black friends. I just happen to believe as a personal choice that black people are cursed and they are members of the mud races. But like I said, some of my best friends are black. I just kind of hate them. How would it not be the case that the ever-loving creator who gave us everything we have doesn't love us? Um, I don't know, perhaps because according to the Catholic Church, if gay people don't feel guilty about their natural impulses that they have no control over and were arguably bestowed upon them by God himself, God will send them to hell to burn forever. Does that sound loving to you? Where's that balance? You know, where can you say, no, I'm not gonna be a part of this, but still respect someone. You can't! It's an inherently disrespectful stance to take! Am I going out of my fucking mind? You know, where do you, where do you find that balance between saying, I'm not gonna eat at the same table as a Jew, but I still respect them. These are the kind of poignant, insightful questions that I would ask myself because I'm a fucking idiot! Bigot in is a huge word that gets thrown around. It's just not true. Yes, it is. That's exactly what it is. And I'd like to point out that at this point in the video, they don't continue on to explain why it's not true. They just say, it's not true. It's not. But why isn't it true? It's just not, you know? It's just, you know, it's not. You cannot have society of hatred or society of bigotry. This is beyond parody now. And part of that is because they are specifically co-opting the language of pro-gay rhetoric, saying, you know, we shouldn't judge each other. You can't have a, a society based on bigotry. I just personally believe that when God looks down and sees Adam giving Steve a rusty trombone, he throws up in his mouth a bit. The best way to kind of break down all of these barriers, sorry, <laughs> is to just get to know people one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> okay. Fuck your tears. There is a time and a place for polite discourse, but this is not the time. Sometimes anger is justified. And when a political advocacy group representing a religion that has stood in the way and stymied the progress of gay rights at every conceivable point, a religion that has maligned, brutalized, and attacked gay people for centuries, a religion that has done more harm to gay people than can possibly be expressed, for that group to make a video with teary-eyed soccer moms asking for people to reconcile their differences and get to know each other one-on-one, -on -one, that takes the proverbial fucking piss.
Fuck your tears. You're not alone. You're not alone. You're not alone. Yeah, unfortunately, there are more of you. And that's how the video ends. Bullshit soulful music playing. I feel like Macklemore is about to start rapping. Again, a lot of people will probably watch this and think, there's no need for that level of anger. I'm sorry, but this shit makes me angry. And frankly, it should make you angry as well. The Catholic Church is by no means the only organization or institution that has hurt gay people. But the Catholic Church is the largest single religious body on the planet. And for literally centuries, it has done all it can to stop the progress of the gay rights movement. It has stood in the way at every possible point. So for Catholics, whether it's the Catholic Church itself or a politically aligned group, to come out and now ask for reconciliation and a sit down at the table getting to know each other style chat is insulting beyond belief. This is an organization that is actively opposed to LGBT rights and they are just now starting to feel like the tide of opinion is turning against them and they've started playing the victim card. Well, fuck you, Catholic vote. Fuck all the people in this video. Sometimes anger is justified. Bye. <laughs>